Here they come. They're off. On the inside, that's where are you going right for the lead? Now they drive into that first turn. Where are you? Opens up by two lengths. Dubop Willoughby is second. Two lengths back to seven and a half. Followed by Didley. Two lengths back to Jughead. Cam Swift and Mochalito trailing out of the turn. They curve into the back stretch. Where are you? Has the lead two and a half lengths. It's Dubop Willoughby second. Two lengths, seven and a half. Closing the gap, third, two lengths, Didley, followed by Jughead, Cam Swift, Mucho Lito. 29 and 1, positions on change, and where are you? Leads the way, but here comes seven and a half. First over on the outside, followed by Dubop Willoughby. On the outside, Didley, followed by Jughead, Mucho Lito, and Swift Cam. Approaching the half mile juncture, where are you? Has the lead a length in their quarters, seven and a half. Digs in on the outside second. Do Bob Willoughby. 58 and 3. The race is half over. Into the clubhouse turn. And where are you? Sprints clear three parts of a length. Now a length. On the outside at seven and a half. Trying to come on second. Do Bob Willoughby. Is saving ground. Followed by Didley. On the inside. Mucho Lito. Jughead and Cam Swift. Out of the turn. They curve into the box direction. Where are you? Has that neck in front. Seven and a half between horses. Didley is three wide. Do Bob Willoughby and Jughead. Three quarters, one twenty-eight and one. And where are you? Has the lead and three parts of a length. Didley is on the outside, a challenging second. Pulled on the inside of horses. Do Bob Willoughby. Here they come, turning for home. Where are you? Is under urging a length. On the outside is Didley. Dubop Willoughby charging through on the inside. It's where are you with the lead? Where are you? Dubop Willoughby at the wire. Fourth race Pacers and behind the starting gate. Here they come. They're up. It's exceeding high between horses. There goes high gear, Hanover. But Royals Rice charges on through, and Royals Rice now has the lead. It's high gear, Hanover, parked on the outside. Inquisitive fella. Right there in third, three lengths, exceeding high. It's two lengths back to Pleasing Cap. Followed in that turn by recognized Mr. Famous. Out of the turn. Now they curve into the box, stretch approaching the quarter. Royals Rice leads a length and a half. Higher Hanover is second to lengths inquisitive fella. Positions on change a lively quarter. 28 and 1, but Royals Rice leads a length. It's high gear Hanover second to lengths back. Two inquisitive fella now first over. Here comes exceeding high. Here comes pleasing Kip following live cover. On the outside, Mr. Famous recognized trailing. Approaching the half mile marker. It's Royals Rice with the lead. High gear Hanover is second to length. Exceeding high. Now third and moving up on the outside. 58 seconds flat. Into the clubhouse turn. Royals Rice exceeding high. He's on the attack second. High gear Hanover. Right there in third, pleasing Kip following cover. On the inside of horses, it's inquisitive fella. Followed by Mr. Famous, recognized. Out of the turn, now they curve into the box. Stretch Royals Rice leads the way. Higher Hanover has pace and is getting the trip. On the outside of horses, exceeding high, pleasing Kip. Three wide, inquisitive fella has pace with nowhere to go. Three quarters, 127 and three. Now they charge around the final turn. Royals Rice opens up the lead now with every stride. It's high gear, Hanover, an inquisitive fella. Here they come, turning for home, and Royals Rice is all by himself. It's high gear, Hanover, inquisitive fella. He ducks to the inside as they come to the wire. It's Royals Rice with the lead. Royals Rice all alone at the wire.
Here they come. And we're off. It's Baldy Jack between horses. Got by Chowder and it's those two. Into the turn and Baldy Jack. Now has the lead, got by Tunner. Looks to drop in second to Rex Tunner. His four lengths back in third. Followed in that turn, Gypsy Falcon, Happy Woody. It's Southern Shogun and Santa Rico trilling. Out of the turn, moving for the quarter. Baldy Jack has that lead, two lengths, got by Tunner. He's second now by four lengths. Direct Tunner, his third, two lengths, followed by Happy Woody. 28 and four, they're by the first quarter. Positions on change, and Baldy Jack leads the way a tight length. It's got by Towner, second by three lengths. Here comes Santa Rico, charging third on the outside. Followed on the inside, direct stunner. Southern Shogun, followed on the inside, Gypsy Falcon. Trailing the field, but on the move, Happy Woody. Moving by the half, and Baldy Jack has the lead three parts of a length. 59 and two. The race is half over, and Baldy Jack... Leans into the clubhouse, turn a length. Santa Rico is on the outside, trying to come on second. Got by Towner in third, followed by Southern Shogun. On the inside of horses, direct stunner. And Happy Woody out of the turn. No day curving to the box to Ratch and Baldy Jack. Leads three parts of a length. Santa Rico is on the attack, second. Got by Towner. He's saving ground with Southern Shogun. Three quarters, 128 and three. Now they race into the far turn, and your leader, Baldy Jack, just a neck as Santa Rico moves at him on the outside. Here comes Southern Shogun, three wide. Here they come, turning for home, and Baldy Jack cuts to the corner on the outside. Southern Shogun charging. Here comes Southern Shogun. Baldy Jack digs in. Baldy Jack, Baldy Jack, and Southern Shogun, those two at the wire. Here's the field for the second, number one, Keystone Mandel and Dave McGee. Entry made is 1A, Honest One, Ron Marsh will drive. Number two, Don's Blast and Dale Heitman. Number three, Janine's fellow, Randy Jacobs. Number four, Cam Dav and Mark Saparito. Number five, Unravel and Joe Marsh, Jr. That's the field. Perfect is on this race. Seven minutes. Here they come. They're off. It's Honest One on the outside for the lead. Keystone Mantle. And on the inside, it's Don's Blast. Into the turn and Don's Blast. Benefits from the inside, but Honest One circles up on the outside. Now Honest One is up to challenge and take command. Don's Blast is now back to second. Keystone Mandel in third. It's two lengths back to Janine's fella. Two lengths back to Cam Dev Unravel Trilling. And your leader by the quarter is Honest One the quarter. 28 and 3, and Honest One leads a length and a quarter. Don's Blast, he's second now by a length and a quarter. It's Keystone Mandel, third, two lengths. Janine's fella on Ravel, charging out of a last and trailing the field to the half. Cam Dav approaching the half, and here comes Keystone Mandel. Up to challenge Honest One for the lead, approaching the half. Entry racing one, two. It's Honest One on the inside. Keystone Mandel on the outside. Nose is apart. 59 seconds flat. The race is half over into the clubhouse turn. And Honest One is on the outside to challenge Keystone Mandel. It's the other way around, around the clubhouse turn. Keystone Mandel on the outside to take command. Honest One holds on the inside. Second unravel into third. Pull it on the inside. Don's Blast. Followed by Cam Dev, trailing the field. It's Janine's fella. Midway up the back stretch. 
positions unchanged. The entry still battling for the lead. 128 and 1. Now they drive into the far turn, and Honest One is coming back to regain command. On the outside, Keystone Mandel second. Don's Blast is right there in third. Unravel three wide. Here they come, turning for home. It's Honest One with the lead. Don's Blast charging through on the inside as they come to the wire. It's Honest One with the lead. It is Honest One at the wire. In the second race, 1A, Honest One was first. Number four, Cham Dab was second. Number one, Keystone Mundell finished third. In the winner's circle, 1A, Honest One. Honest One is owned by Shirley Levin and Barrington Hills, Illinois, trained by Doug Larson, driven to victory by Ronnie Marsh. And ladies and gentlemen, we had two claims in the second race. The one entry were both claimed. Number one, Keystone Mandel was claimed. His new trainer is Nicole Wild. Number 1A, Honest One was claimed. His new trainer, Bob Farrington. is Jay Revrack and Dave McGee. Number two is Quaker Shaker and Carl Porcelli, Jr. Number three, Lyra Log, Dale Heitman. Number four, Margie Roberts, Laverne Hostether. Five is Ancient Speed and Mark Saparito. Six is Good Contessa, B. Farber Erdman. Seven, Sailing Speed, Danny Knox. Number eight, Broadway Vanity. Ron Marsh will drive. That's the field. Seven minutes, so pause. Seven minutes. Here they come. They're up. Saving speed out for the lead on the inside. There goes Larry Long, joined by Quaker Shaker. Into the turn, and Quaker Shaker powers between horses. Larry Long, moving between horses. Now in second, Ms. J. Rivrak. Saving speed out there in fourth. Followed in that turn by Margie Roberts. Ancient speed on the inside of horses. Good Contessa. Broadway Vanity training. Your leader to the quarter is Liverlog. On the outside, Quaker Shaker is second. They're by the quarter. 28 seconds flat. And Liverlog leads three parts of a length. Quaker Shaker is on the attack on the outside. Second, make that Quaker Shaker on the inside. Liverlog on the outside, a challenging second. Ms. J. Rebrack and Sailing Speed approaching the half mile marker. It's Carl Purcelli and Quaker Shaker with the lead number length. Liverlog on the outside, second. Ms. J. Rebrack. Sailing Speed, two lengths back and forth. Followed by Margie Roberts and Ancient Speed. 58 and 1, the race is half over, and Quaker Shaker leans into the clubhouse turn, Ms. J. Reverack. Now back to second, Lirilag and third, on the inside of us is Saline Speed, Ancient Speed is set to go three wide. Out of the turn, they curve into the box, stretch, and Quaker Shaker leads to length and a quarter, Ms. J. Reverack is getting a trip second, on the outside it's Ancient Speed, and from far back, four wide, it's Broadway Vanity, three quarters, 130 and one. Quaker Shaker into the far turn, but Broadway Vanity moving second on the outside. On the inside, Ms. J. Revrack. Here they come, turning for home. Here comes Broadway Vanity. Broadway Vanity now powers on by. It's Quaker Shaker, Ms. J. Revrack on the inside, sailing speed. Broadway Vanity showing the way at the wire.
In the sixth, number eight, Broadway Vanity was first. Photo for second. Please hold all tickets. Number one, Ms. J. Revrack was second. Number seven, Sailing Speed was third. Number two, Quaker Shaker finished four. Results are official. Mark the mile, two minutes, three fouls. In the winner's circle, number eight, Broadway Vanity. Broadway Vanity is owned by Shirley and Art Levin of Barrington Hills, trained by Doug Larson, driven by Ron Marsh, a driving double. The winning Perfecta 8 1 returns 68. No, there's even. They're off. It's Penny Whistle coming for the lead. Join on the outside. Come blowing. Nobody's anxious. Best of Curzon. Into the turn they rule and Penny Whistle powers into a two length lead. It's nobody sanctions. Second Cub Bluey parked under urging third. Here comes Ali Frisco parked on the outside. Followed on the inside. Best of Carson. It's paperback romance. Quirky's anxiety and ancient law. Your leader by the quarter Penny Whistle. Here comes Cub Bluey on the attack. Here comes Ali Frisco. 29 and 1 the quarter. It's Kablui now to take command. But Ellie Frisco was third, moving second on the outside. Ellie Frisco under urging now to challenge and take command. It's Kablui second. It's Penny Whistle right there, third. Followed by Nobody's Anxious, followed by Best of Carson to the outside, approaching the half mile marker. It's Ellie Frisco, two lengths, come Bluey. He's second, followed by Penny Whistle and third. They're halfway home. 59 and 1 into the clubhouse turn. It's Ellie Frisco with the lead. Here comes Penny Whistle, charging second, and Penny Whistle with a rush. Up to challenge Ellie Frisco for the lead. Best of Carson charging into third, followed by Kablui. On the outside of us is paperback romance. Nobody's anxious, ancient Lou. No, from the outside of the rush. Penny Whistle powers on by. They're moving by three quarters. 129 and two. And Penny Whistle opens up the lead now with every stride. It's best of Carson on the outside. Second, Deli Frisco. Between horses, nobody's anxious. Ancient Lou. They're moving to the top of the stretch. And Penny Whistle is all by herself. Here they come then down the stretch. It's Penny Whistle with the lead. A late move on the outside by best of Carson. And nobody's anxious. Penny Whistle is all alone at the wire. A battle for second. In the sixth race, number six, Penny Whistle was first. $46.40. $46.40 on the 6-2 Perfecta. 6-1 Perfecta returns $28.00. 